Tonight, some would-be smash-and-grab thieves are on the run. They were caught on camera driving into a grocery store in Dallas. But when the warning sounded, the driver left his buddies behind. NBC5's Jocelyn Lockwood live now with a closer look at how it all unfolded. Jocelyn. And Chris, you can still see all of the damage here, the tire tracks leading up where the truck backed up, and the window is boarded up where it slammed into this grocery store and just feet away from all of that. An indication here of something that may help get these would-be thieves caught. The warning, they were being recorded. At the scene, crews cleaned up the mess. So we're watching all these cameras. And, and in a building miles away, others worked to review video of the crime caught on camera. We're literally watching motion activity all the time. Stealth monitoring watches the Meadow Central Market Shopping Center 24 hours a day, and someone jumped into action when they saw what police say was an attempted ATM theft. Warning. You have violated an area protected by a security system. The company sent a warning to one of its nearby speakers. The authorities have been notified. Leave immediately. That caused them to run off. Uh, otherwise, they would have stayed. The driver fled, leaving two suspects to run. Stealth monitoring immediately called police. The police arrived within five minutes, which uh, Dallas PD responded very quickly for us. Knowing a company is keeping watch. Within seconds, our operators can call up a map showing where the cameras are. Is reassuring. Yes. I think that, that's added safety for those of us who are <laughs> uh, law-abiding citizens. Some don't notice the cameras. Normally, I would not have looked. <laughs> But since you asked me, yes. Others are well aware and surprised it happened in this shopping center. A lot of cameras, but if you're doing anything like that, you don't really care. Now, police say they found the truck used in this attempted smash and grab just around the corner from there. They also tell us the would-be thieves were wearing masks, hoods, and gloves. They're asking anyone with information to call police. We are live in Dallas. Jocelyn Lockwood, NBC5. All right, Jocelyn, thank you. A growing push to remove the...